So in this video, I am going to show you my personal favorite nude lip combos because I will consider myself a lip wear or a lip nude expert connoisseur, whatever. Nude lips are my thing. Like I want to put nude lips on everybody when I do makeup on other people. Um, myself, I feel the most comfortable in a nude lip. And over the years, I've accumulated a bunch of different lip colors that I like or concoctions or whatever it is that I really enjoy. And a lot of people sometimes do ask me, what's your favorite lipstick or what are your favorite lip glosses? So in this video, I kind of will talk about what I like and how I would pair it. How, Because a lot of times too, People are scared of nudes or they don't know what kind of nudes to look for themselves because it's intimidating or people don't know how to kind of make them work or they don't know that they need a liner or a lip gloss can help them spruce it up. So in this video, I'll show you all of that. And if you are interested in my personal favorite nudes, um, keep on watching. Starting off with this, what I already have on my lips. This is my go-to nude it's more of like a peachy nude and on most of these lip combos that you're about to see i put a gloss on top but you don't have to put the gloss on top it's just an option i give you the whole look but you can always do what you want do what you please so don't talk about me the lip liner everybody needs it this lip liner everybody has talked about this lip liner it's super affordable and this one is the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Morphe has some of the best lip liners I've ever used. Super creamy. They're super long. This one, I've used it to death. But they're bomb.com. It's like the perfect brown color. Uh, not too red. Not too gray. It's just like the right amount. And a lot of people can wear this. Not just my skin complexion. If you're a little bit lighter or if you're a little bit darker. But... Just so you guys know, I like the nude lip where it looks like an ombre, the chola lip, which is a little bit darker on the outer perimeter and then inside the lighter. So if that's not what you like, you're not going to like any of these lip combos, so get out of this video. But if you do like slutty nudes like this, my favorite lip liner at the moment is Sweet Tea from Morphe, five bucks super affordable and this is what i have on right now and for the lipstick this is my ride or die this is the kkw number one nude this is what i have all over my lips so bite me lip liner from morphe kkw this is kim kardashian's makeup line um and look so y'all know I love this. I love this lipstick. They're super creamy. I prefer, if I'm wearing lipsticks, this is my preference. I like a creamier lipstick. I don't like a matte. Uh, I'm not even a big fan of matte lipsticks, to be honest. So I always prefer a creamier lipstick. To top it off, uh, slutty, <laughs> sexy gloss. So this is the KKW. And the name is, right, Super Nude. So this is what it looks like. So look, it's almost my skin color. So super new. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on so you guys can see the magic. So look. So this is this lip. This is my favorite. This is my go-to. I love this lipstick. This lip combo. So Marl Mad Glam's number one lip combo is this. This next lipstick combo is for the people that like a pinky nude lipstick. I repeat, pinky nude lipstick. So if you don't like pink lipstick, if you don't like pink glosses, this isn't for you. So Moving on to the second combo, I'm going to start off by lining my lips with, surprise, another KKW product. 
This is the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in 90s Supermodel. This is from her uh, matte collection, 90s matte collection. I love her lip liners. If you're wanting to invest in really good lip liners, I recommend the KKW ones as well. They have a bunch of different nude colors, but this is more on the pinky mauve side, so I'm going to be using this one. So that's what the KKW lip liner in 90s Supermodel looks like. So that's your first step in this combo. And now for the lipstick, I'm going to be using Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Kim KW. So this is her lipstick that she came out a little bit, uh, well, a while back ago. And these are inspired by like her muses, celebrities, uh, and this is like a color that represented Kim at the time, which is like her pinky nude lipstick. So bomb.com, amazing formula too if you're wanting to try a more high-end lipstick. Beautiful lipstick. Charlotte Tilbury has beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. This used to be my jam back then. Oh, Jesus. So, so this is Mac Dazzle Glass. These are the bond.com. But I will warn you, if you don't like thick, super sticky lip glosses, you're not going to like this. This is the, the definition of sticky and thick. And this is in the color Sugar Rimmed. I love this lip gloss. So watch how this just makes everything look 10 times better. So this is lip combo number two. This is your pinky option. So remember this is KKW lip liner in 90s Supermodel, Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Kim KW, and then a good super pink, thick, glossy gloss is MAC Dazzle Glass in Sugar Rim. So this is your option number two. All right, so ready for option number three. So this will be more of your, I would really recommend this lip combo to deeper skin tones or just anybody that likes a little darker lip combo. And this is more peachy on that mustardy kind of nude color. And I live for a mustardy nude. So this is option number three. I'm starting off with MAC Lip Liner in Cork. So this to me is the perfect brown lip liner for someone a little bit darker than me or if you just want a little bit of a darker lip liner. So Cork by MAC is amazing. And then also from MAC, the lipstick that I'm going to be pairing it with is MAC's Naturally Transformed. So this is what that looks like. And this is a really pretty lip for a little bit, for someone that's a little bit more tan or a little bit more caramel than me, or just for deeper skin tones, I think this would be the perfect nude color because it's not going to look like a powdered donut or it's not going to be too pink because as you can see, it has a lot of that mustard kind of yellow under it. So this is really pretty. I would definitely recommend this lip combo. But what I would wear with this is I would put a gloss on top of it. Surprising. But one of my favorite lip glosses is also from MAC, but this is the Lip Glass, not the Dazzle Glass. This is the Lip Glass formula. And this is in the color Peach Stock. So this is what this looks like with 
Cork Lip Liner from MAC. MAC Lipstick Naturally Transformed and also MAC Lip Glass in Peach Style. Okay, last but not least, this is my last lip combo and this is going to be on the liquid lipstick side for my liquid lipstick lovers. So starting off, I'm going to line my lips again with my sad ass small lip liner Sweet Tea from Morphe. So we already know what the Bite Me lip liner looks like from Morphe. So I fill in my lips with this. And then I go in with the Morphe liquid lipstick in the color Pep Doc. And this is more, I don't really know if I would consider this a nude, but I'm gonna make it into more of a nude, but it's more of like a orangey, peachy color. This is another one of my like favorite lip combinations. I love how this looks. Very peachy, very orangey, but this is not really that nude. So what I do is I kind of let this dry just a tad bit. And now, if you're looking for a really good nude liquid lipstick, Dose of Colors Sand is my jam. So what I do is I grab this liquid lipstick and then I just put it in the center. I kind of just dab it on there. But right in the center, I bite a little bit more. And then what I do, I grab my ring finger and just blend it in. You see how that's making it a little bit more nude? Not as orangey. So, you can leave it like this for my matte lovers, but I always put a gloss on top of it. But this also looks really, really pretty. It's a little bit more longer wearing if that's what you're also looking for. So I would recommend these. Um, but yeah, all right guys, so that was my top nude lip combination. So I hope you kind of at least got one that you kind of liked or could work for your skin tone. And just remember, there's a bunch of different nude lipsticks out there, so don't feel defeated. Because I always, I used to work at Sephora and I would always get clients that would be like, I can't find the perfect nude or there's not any lipstick for me, but that is not true. You just need to... Figure out what you like, figure out what you find appealing on yourself and get you a good neutral lip liner that you can pair with anything from a nude nude lipstick to a pink lip, lip lipstick or a gloss, whatever it is. But I just want to give a shout out to MAC lip glosses because if I were to tell you to buy one thing is get you a good nude juicy gloss because I feel like that just makes you look sexy. And who doesn't want to look sexy? So, MAC lip glosses are the way to go. Nobody else out there makes any gloss like MAC. Go get you a MAC gloss. Doesn't matter which one it is, just get you a MAC gloss. Try it and then come back and tell me that you love it because I know you're going to love it. Alright guys, so that was it for my personal favorite nude combinations. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys at least found one combination that you liked um let me know if you own any of this any of these lipsticks and also let me know what your favorite new lipsticks are or your favorite lip liners because mama always needs a new lipstick so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video